Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Tonight we're doing a one shot. God have mercy on us all. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you could, please follow us at Twitch, follow us at Twitter, follow us at YouTube. Just don't follow Ryan because the judge doesn't like it. No, he uh, doesn't. Tonight, as you saw, we're going after a quest for boots. Oh. Did you say quest for boobs? Boots. Boots. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Ryan reminds me that this is for mature audiences only. So uh, <laughs> best of luck here. Uh, we got one new player tonight. Uh, three returning veterans who I'm sure are going to screw with me. Uh, let's start in the high left. Mike, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about your character tonight. Um, I might. I will be stepping way out of my normal comfort zone by playing a caster. Uh, I'll be playing Welton, the tiefling bard. And Frank's probably going to do his best to try and kill me tonight. I would be offended if that weren't so accurate. Over to that side, Hallie. Hey, everybody. I'm Hallie. I'm the uh, DM of Terrible Party that dire this direction. <laughs> I'm playing a, I'm playing a Poe Black Flown tonight. And just so you know, I'm a ranger. I'm a fire Denasi ranger. And I'm not going to be able to keep that up for more than like five. <laughs> so when the accent falls away, don't blame me. Sorry. Better than the uh, Russian accent I used last time. I missed the first part. Uh, who's your normal group? Uh huh. Yeah, you do this every time. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Uh huh. I know. I know. This is what happens when you let players name their own party, and they name themselves the STDs. Fair enough. But as everybody saw, your advertisements there, so we already knew it. Down below, uh, Hallie is Ryan. Uh, folks, if there's a restraining order, Ryan's gonna have it. But right now, he's playing with us. Howdy, hey, guys. Wait. My name's Ryan. Don't follow me on anything. I'm playing Dick B. Dragon, the biggest dick paladin. <laughs> Uh, now for our new player, Gwen. Bottom left, Gwen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit about your character, please. Uh, I'm Gwen. I'm very new to D&D. I'm playing Asar, the half-elf sorcerer. Have you ever played a caster? No. You're going to die tonight. Yep. <laughs> I'm Folks. excited. <laughs> Folks, tonight's title is boots uh before we get started we'd like to throw out uh, three shout outs for birthdays one edgar Allan poe he's dead but i'm pretty sure you can figure out poe blackthorn eh, there's a reference there also dolly parton if you're following us hollywood must be boring no she, yeah edgar Allan poe's dead holly will be dead in about an hour uh dolly parton it's her birthday so wish her a happy birthday uh also katie seagal my favorite married with children so that being said folks uh these four individuals are going to be first level adventurers they're so excited they can taste it uh dick b dragon poe blackthorn and welton have all been released from their masters or mistresses and they are ready to head out on the trail they await the fourth member of the group azar uh and they expect her any minute in the town square unfortunately azar's mistress has given her one final task it's an easy one. All she has to do is go across town to Cobbler Pete's, pick up some boots, and bring them back before nightfall. Piece of cake, man. This is going to be cake. Uh, Azar, you have been delivery, uh, you have been given your missive and the boot to get out. Uh, as you head across the main river in the large city of Cathaway, you arrive at the town square and you notice your three associates. Dick B. Dragon the Tortle, Poe Blackthorn the Fire Genazi, and Welton the Tiefling. They hail you and say, are we ready to begin our careers? What do you want to tell them? Sorry, guys. Um, I got this stupid um, quest from the authority, and I hate it. But we just got to go across town. It'll take us like 30 minutes, I promise. Wait, are you about to graduate? Yes. Okay, I have a plan. <laughs> Jesus. And here goes the rails. Uh -oh. <laughs> I need you to be as impressive as possible, right? We need you to impress your mistress, right? <laughs> Getting boots, that's easy. That's simple. 
But if we take down the evilest person in town, that'll be extra impressive. You'll graduate with honors. It'll be amazing. Tempting. Are you uh, aware of the most evil person in town there? Uh, nope, but I'm willing to go looking. <laughs> Uh, I hear he might be in the tavern by chance. I'm with you. Let's go to the tavern. Definitely the tavern is a good place to start. However, just a little trickery to start the evening. Number two, uh, Poe Blackthorn. Give me a perception check, please. Oh, hail. All right. You guys are in the crowded uh, city square where open market day is going on. Oh, what'd you get? That's a wow. that's an eighteen. Outstanding. As you listen to the recitation given by a Dick B. Dragon, you feel a strange hand on your rump, which is where you're carrying your coin purse today. You spin around and spot a light foot halfling. Oh, sorry. And they take <laughs> off into the crowd. Oh. The coin purse is a little bit lighter. Uh, Motherless folks. son of a... And I just take off. Somebody stole my daggum money! <laughs> Dang Azar, Yeah, she's from oh. the sticks. <laughs> uh, Dick Weldon and Azar, you see your associate Poe take off, sprinting her best to try and catch what appears to be a child. Sir, may I have some more of your gold coins uh do you also want to give chase or say eh, we don't need her i'm gonna start charging and just oh. knocking people out of our way i'm just kind of line back through and just perfect opportunity evil people draw my sword and, <laughs> and, and, and i'm following him and away. apologizing as i go well i'm gonna charge for the uh child <clears throat> okay uh i will take a series of d20s to see if you can catch the little urchin you need to beat the urchin four out of six times combined so first d20 roll that's an 18 folks 14 13 mike uh 10 that's one for the heflin Round two as Dick B. Dragon knocks over one of the merchants, scattering tangerines all over the floor. Roll two. Three. Eleven. Sixteen. Nine. Seventeen. Sixteen and seventeen is a winner. Uh, Azar and Welton, while they attempt to go ahead and apologize, start to outdistance Dick B. Dragon in his turtle-esque outfit and start to gain Fucking old people in my way <laughs> i think you're aiming for the old people aren't you a little bit yeah uh now remember folks you're in an urban environment you know you can't go around killing people willy-nilly that's that's player knowledge that's what you think yeah oh, I'm, and the jail's that. filled uh roll three folks Eight. seven Better. 17 16 11 that's two for you guys, one for the halfling. Uh, he seems to be having a little bit of trouble. He's not nearly as powerful as Dick B. Dragon. And uh, you guys are starting to gain on him. Number four. I'd be yelling thief as we're running. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. 11. Uh, one. 19. 19. Uh, Azar, you're going to roll at disadvantage on this next roll because uh, you tripped. Oh, great. Uh, three, Keep up, to, three to one. Three to one. Another roll. Azar, you're rolling at disadvantage. Yep. Matt 20. Uh, Eight. Uh, <clears throat> Dick B. Dragon tucks his arms and legs into his shell, sends himself skittering across like Mario Kart, and knocks the halfling down. Uh, he skitters into a just a basket of puppies. You know what? That's what he's going to hit. He's going to hit a basket of puppies. Oh, wow. There is yelping going on. Uh, there's a little old lady mad uh, that this child has just run into it. And uh, Dick B. Dragon, using the red shell, 
has got his man. Uh, as Welton and Poe catch up, uh, Azar is bringing up the rear because she stumbled and scraped her knee already. Uh, so Dick, initiative against the halfling. 11. 11, tied. I'm going to try and make a break for it. Uh, Poe and Welton, uh, roll initiative, see if you beat the 11. <clears throat> 12. Uh, Welton does a shoestring tackle and Poe goes high and gets a, just a headlock on the half lane. Uh, you've got puppies yelping because he's knocked over a basket of puppies. Azar comes up huffing and puffing away and Dick B. Dragon is beaming from ear to ear because he has caused mayhem and <laughs> anyway. Uh, this individual's name is Oliver, and he says, please, sir, will you release me? I, <laughs> I, I want to slap the shit out of <laughs> And we're going to brutalize children. Hey. So, yes, <laughs> off to just, a great start. Just, and they're halflings. Wait. It's hard to tell. Just wait, not, just wait half a moment. Now, come on, I'm just going to start smacking his pockets. I want my money back. Okay. Uh, you <laughs> retrieve your money he managed to get. 15 gold pieces. He got a healthy chunk. He must have a big hand. Uh, Welton uh, is beating the crap out of him. Poe is smacking him around. Uh, Dick and Azar, what do you two want to do? I want to break his fingers. You can't, uh, you can't pickpocket with broken fingers. Azar? I'm solving the problem. So I don't think I can try to hold Dick back. But can I try to stop Welton? That's why you chose that name. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to contain it. I really did. <laughs> I didn't realize what I said until I said it. Okay, Azar. Uh, do you uh, want to try and attempt to hold Dick or <laughs> just, just let him roll around? Roll 12, apparently. <laughs> can I try to stop Welton from beating the halfling up? Yeah, just stop Welton. Leave me alone. <laughs> sure, you can try and tackle Welton. Welton, what is your AC? 12. Okay, here's the thing, Azar. Uh, see if you can hit a 12. If you can't, you're going to crush a puppy. If you can, you're going <laughs> to knock Welton off of the urchin. Oh, God. Harder okay. elbowing, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I got 17. Welton, you feel the, uh, I don't know half-elf body, uh, crush into your tiefling body, uh, and it does give uh, the beating a brief cessation, and everybody hears whistles. Here comes the po-po. Oh, no. Uh, the, I'm just going to pull the halfling around, because I got him still, right? Yeah, take him to the alley. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, just, I'm gonna give him to the guard. The guards will lock him up. Don't worry about Fuck it. the police. <laughs> oh. I, I, you know what? All I'm seeing is the hangover. Look, <laughs> I, I see bad. screaming Look. puppies. You yelling, "Fuck the police!" Her with a headlock, and these two tackling each other. So, <laughs> you know. Look, does this halfling have friends? If they are, they ain't around. I, don't yeah, well, I mean, are they going to be around later? Do you want to turn these over to the cops? You want to involve the cops? Look, we can, we can cops do are it. Here, man. Pick the what pocket or two me? in my day. I'm just going to throw him towards the guards. I should say we, we, maybe, should we run? No, I'm chucking the halfling. I say I we explain call. ourselves to the cops. I already said, fuck the police. <laughs> Get me dragon, don't talk to no police. <laughs> Get cred out in these streets. <laughs> it's not like the police can hit Dick the Dragon, anyways. Oh my god. That's yeah, the Dick whitest thing I've heard fucking... in a long time. Wow. <laughs> People tuning in are like, well, what the fuck does this have anything to do with boots? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh god. So, Pope Blackthorn uses a human missile <laughs> and sure. chucks a halfling at the Popo. Welton stands up to try and deal with him while Dick B. Dragon is whipping off the shell around his head yelling, fuck the police, fuck the police. Yeah. Uh, Azar, uh, what do you uh, want to do? 
Can I, like, blend into the crowd and pretend not to associate <laughs> with these people? Uh, give me a d20 versus stealth. Uh. She's doing um, Homer Simpson into the hedgerow. Uh -huh. Okay, 11. She's not doing it very well. No. <laughs> <laughs> a guard grabs a hold of Azar, yanks her in front, tells Dick B. Dragon to shut up, uh, starts to put Poe Blackthorn in cuffs for using a human missile, or a halfling missile in this case. Welton, voice of reason, tiefling. Oh, I, I would like to... Uh... Deceive the guards into convincing them that this halfling molested my compatriot. That's the word you're going to use. We've been down yes. this road before. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Persuade me. Uh, 24. <laughs> that, that's Ooh, yeah. persuading right there. Uh, you're right. We've been looking for this little bastard for quite a while. Uh, Thank you. We appreciate you uh, catching him. You don't throw him at us again. You pick up these puppies, and you you want you want to fuck with the popo? And you can't talk to me. You can't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> you know about it. <laughs> Into the show he goes. Ah, uh, Azar, roll a d6. Tell me how many puppies you catch while the rest of them run into the crowd. I catch one puppy. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, Five puppies loose and the little old lady wants, I want justice! I want justice! These people have stolen my dogs! I want to intimidate her to shut the hell up. <laughs> Intimidation. Oh, yeah. It's happening. <laughs> uh... Okay, uh, 17. Uh, she's mad, but she shuts up. Uh, she goes off to chase the other five puppies. Yeah, that's what I the, thought. The guards haul Oliver away, and he points out to Welton, your time's coming. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, you want to beat me? There's a beating coming. Uh, See, I business, told you he should have broke his fingers. Business, what, you going to punch him in the nose? I'm thinking about it. Business returns to normal. The little old lady has recovered her puppies. Thank God. One of which is injured. Nice job. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> hey, how about them freaking boots? <laughs> uh, I think the plan is still tavern, correct? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I just got touched by a halfling hand, so I'd really need to, you know, maybe drink that one off. Yeah. In my defense, he did touch my butt. I, it's not that I don't appreciate it, but he didn't. And ask we're first. ridding the streets of crime without the shitty guards. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. You know what? The guards are going to be led by like a ninth level paladin who just, <laughs> just makes a smear a on the floor out of you. <laughs> He's, Just make him you'll a see him later, he's wearing a tortle hat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see one shots from now. That's That's right. awesome. uh, As luck would have it, you are on the river walk, uh, whether you're in San Antonio or any other major city. Uh, there are cafes, or uh, there is also some taverns just across uh, Cabrini Green there. Uh, Azar, do not forget that you are on a time limit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what harm could grabbing a drink do? I I concur wholeheartedly. Uh, somebody, uh, Dick, give me a d20. Nine. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. A pair of individuals oh. show up, and they seem to be in awe of you. They appear to be half-elves. Uh, after spying on you guys for a few moments they decide to come up right after you order a beverage the one goes hello i am bill s preston and this is my friend ted <laughs> we could not help but oversee what you have done and we too say fuck the police what you have done is really amazing and it got us a dog 
<laughs> All right. Excellent. Unfortunately, it is excellent. <laughs> that was stealing. That's bogus, dude. It and I'm going to go my sword. <laughs> says the paladin who runs around yelling, fuck the police. No, no, no. I have a problem very, with the police from the establishment standpoint. I am not a paladin. Crime. You're like the establishment. I'm chaotic good. You're still the establishment of chaotic good. <laughs> Fair. They would like to join your party. All right, now I'm into it. What, what can they do, though? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a good question. You guys have some sort of, like... We can play music. <laughs> Prove you yourself. Have like a machine that can like. Prove ourselves. Yeah. Do you have they like a time machine? And do a rap. <laughs> mm. That is bogus. It is a bogus rap. Uh, even the dog, the little puppy, is howling at their rendition. But they get done. Each of them have a goofy smile, and they're. Uh. See, I told you we're musicians. <laughs> Right. So can we join the party? Yeah. We can be like bardic inspiration to you guys. I just lean over to Dick and go, I have a feeling that if we say no later on, they're going to come around and kick our asses. I mean, do you really want them hanging around? <laughs> no, we ditch them the first sign we can't. <coughs> or maybe make them go get the damn boots. Or we tell them there's a show in the back alley. <laughs> we take their shit there. <laughs> Do we need to talk about your I just want to beat everybody's ass problem? Look, I'm trying to help out Azer. She needs to be imp- guys, set guys, okay. impressive. We can we can kill two birds with one stone here. We can I tell agree. them to go get the boots for us. Not literally. They, we can tell them to go get the boots for us to gain entrance into our party and then leave them when they bring them to me. I like that plan. I'm in. I, plan. Yeah. I suppose. Uh... Yeah, we'll be more than happy to do that. So where do we need to go? You have to find Cobbler Pete. We just ate. <laughs> his the wife's the one who makes the cobbler. He uh, is an actual, his profession is cobbling footwear. Excellent. So he makes the stones that we walk on. He, no. No, he makes he, boots. He makes footwear. Are those boots made for walking? Is it that is. what they'll do? You know, right. you know, you know, don't don't hurry up and go. I'm going to walk all over you. There you go. <laughs> one one caught it. Okay. Uh, they do not know where Cobbler Pete's is. So who in all fairness, either there. Way. Can we get them a map? Uh, no, this is not Disneyland. There are no maps here in uh, oh, okay. Cowboy. Well, shouldn't Acer go with them? It is her task as Anyways. So we're going to split the party on me, that's, aren't we? That's, no. <laughs> the Listen, the okay. ogre invasion is coming, bitches. <laughs> you guys can't leave this town and start your careers without me. I think you need me. I, just, I think oh, that, you can tell me right. until you finish. <laughs> Again, look, if you just get some boots and turn it in, you've done nothing, you know, nothing impressive. Oh, yeah. bad news, folks. There's a whistle, and here come the fuzz. Shit, run! <laughs> you and you, Bill, Ted, get over here with that dog. Hauled away. <laughs> <laughs> so you've put three criminals in the can, and you still haven't found the fucking cobbler yet. That's... Bill and Ted have been arrested by the uh, constables for grand theft puppy. Not excellent. Bogus. That's totally man. bogus. Bogus. <laughs> See, okay, you know I'm just going to start like ordering drinks and pouring them into the biggest thing that they've got at the table. My shell. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. Pop a straw. Can you then... actually? Oh, I don't. That's kind of nasty. No, nah, um, it's clean. No, in here. I'm not drinking shell beer. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I, I think it's called a, oh. Dick I am a walking beer. keg. <laughs> They're walking keg, Jesus Christ. Keg stands uh, just, are more complicated. Let's just, let's just um, finish our drinks and get out of here, man. It'll take us five minutes, and then we can be on our way. That works. I'm buying about four to go. Poe has a little alcohol problem. I want whatever the hell the strongest thing they have is. <laughs> Everybody roll a d20 one time for each drink that you consume. Tell me if you get a one or a two. No. Do they have any flammable liquor? Oh, yeah. 
Good. I'll take five. Good. Eight to go. Still good. Oh, I'm good. Nope. The lowest I got was a four and down seven. Oh, I just uh, had one. I, I will take a DC 10 versus Constitution for anybody who drank over five. Yes. yes. You could just say Hallie. <laughs> <laughs> I got 10 exactly. You're buzzed, so you aren't driving, but you can walk. Uh, Let me have them wagons. Where are them horses? Come on, let's steal a wagon, make some money, do some crime, let's go. <laughs> the, the guards on the far side of the plaza. <laughs> I totally don't see it. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> oh, I don't like the look of that, those guards. Did you like Dude, this is the problem I have with the guards in this city. You can't just get drunk and walk around without them throwing a fit. Yeah, they're assholes. They are assholes. Uh, the good news is uh, all four of you realize that you're only about a block and a half away from Cobbler Pete's. And Dylan right. didn't know where the fuck that was? <laughs> dude. Well. Dude. <laughs> you know, if you spent all your days smoking strange roots, you probably wouldn't know where it is either. They're probably Drew. You don't know my man. business. <laughs> <laughs> Crime online, Dick B. Dragon. CrimeOnline.com. <laughs> we know your business. Uh, so you're about a block away from the craft district. Uh, where Cobbler Pete's is at? Boots. Let's do it. Let's do it. Poe D20. Das boot. Das boot. Let's oh, to see. start yelling everything. Oh, we're getting those kinds of boots? Oh, in that 19. case, let's do this. 19? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, as you're headed towards the craft area, uh, there is a large group of males and female, or I'm sorry, males uh, that are very loud and disturbing, proclaiming that their friend who is with them is getting married. Then one of them pukes. Gwen, or Azar, give me a DC 10 versus Dex. Three. You're gonna need new boots. <laughs> no. I will take minus one on any charisma check that you have to perform because you smell like vomit unless somebody wants to press to digitate that away. See, if you'd kept that puppy from earlier, you'd at least have something to wipe it off with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can press to digitate crit mm, I can't speak, but I can do that cantrip. Okay, she's going to clean herself off. Whoa! She Mary Poppins herself. You guys go into the uh, enclosed block where the uh, businesses are, and you see more fuzz. Oh, God. God. Damn, city. And they are in front of Cobbler Pete's. Can I survey Cobbler then. Pete's to see if he has a separate entrance or a point of entry? He has a back door. It goes Probably. to the pie shop. We can go through the pie shop. <laughs> to the back oh, door. Ah. Is Dick going to the, the back door? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody goes to the back door. They pass a table filled with cobblers. There are two cobblers left, and nobody is around. <clears throat> oh. Nope. Chaotic good. Don't touch it. Either no, I'll break somebody's fucking fingers, but I'm not going to steal. He pot. was a criminal. There's a difference. Uh, you go in through the back. the line at pie ceiling. That's right. Yeah. That's the line. Not, that's, not that's puppy the line. kicking, not snapping. If fingers. the guards are going to do anything useful in this city, they can at least guard these pies. <laughs> I'd like to swap one pie for five gold pieces and just leave it on the table. <laughs> Very nice. You're down to 45. Uh, folks at home, everybody started with 50 gold pieces, and that may or may not be important. I didn't. Those. Uh, I can't spend them on a seal club. What's it? What good are they? You never know. You might find a club of seal clubbing device. Uh, you finally reach your destination, but discover that several of the town watch are present. As the guards finish up talking to an injured proprietor, uh, Weldon, you're covered in a little peach cobbler. Uh, well, I said take, not eat. Oh, okay. Got. Uh, so, so we're so gonna do the pie fight. The we're gonna do a pie fight later, aren't we? <laughs> maybe. maybe. Who knows? Uh, 
As the guards leave, Cobbler Pete turns around. He's got a nasty lump on his head, and he doesn't look so hot. Uh, he recognizes Azar and says, oh, my dear girl, how are you? How's it going, Pete? Uh, I just, I've I just been you robbed. Talking. You've been robbed? I've been robbed. You've helped out quite a bit, huh? <laughs> well, those those cops were apparently breaking up some kind of puppy stealing ring in the yeah, youth square ones. when I was robbed. Awful. Who would steal a puppy? I don't know. I bet it's those weed smoking Bill and Ted guys. <clears throat> you know, if we broke more fingers around here, this would happen a lot less. That's true. Uh, Azar, uh, you notice that Cobbler Pete has sustained a head injury and he's a little bit woozy. Uh, he's going to be scarce on the details, uh, but he will explain that there were three individuals that uh, came in, roughed him up, stole 87 gold pieces and the cash box, and sadly, eh, the boots you're looking for. Oh, God. Ah, Can't he make another pair, like, right now? Right, really yeah. Injured, no, no, uh, his Keebler elf is busy making cookies right now. Well, that's not <laughs> my problem. He's These are very expensive boots. Uh, he's not providing the services <laughs> he promised Acer's mistress. Uh, you can go see the barrister and sue him later. Can, can I Let's roll to see if Dickby some... Dragon has a lawyer on retainer? <laughs> I'm sure that Dr <clears throat> Dragon's got an attorney. Uh, he All <laughs> he true. knows is one of the three individuals was Light Fingers Larry Flint. Oh, not that guy. Yeah. He's not going to be Broken Fingers Larry Flint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually with that one. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll assist with that. Let's go. Yeah, I'll, I'll start that. I just want to graduate, man. Does uh, he happen to be a gnome? Light Fingers have... Larry? Yeah. Does he have, uh, no. does he have... He is a does he have an eye look? He's a human. Uh... There'll be no gnome tossing this scenario. No, remember, it's not the it's not the tossing. It's about the eyes. It's it's about the landing. Um, he said uh, uh, once the other customers left, Larry and two unknown accomplices uh, attempted to shake him down for cash. He refused and yelled for his wife to go get the guards, and he was smashed in the head and knocked out briefly. When he came to, both the cash box and the boots were missing. So what I'm gathering is the problem was the guards. Right, they were uh, uh, abusing their power in the town square. Apparently, yeah. Instead of being here, protecting a massive people. problem. You know, Damn, maybe they weren't so busy taking bribes. <laughs> They'd have been here. Oh, I know where you're going to end this adventure. <laughs> All right. Well, Pete, maybe your thumb socks weren't illegal. <laughs> what would you like to do, folks? Let's go, Pete. Oh, Pete, do yeah. you remember anything about the other two hooligans? <clears throat> I, I don't know if they... I, I think one of them might have dropped something, but I don't remember. I'm going to slip Pete a gold to see if he remembers anything else. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just uh, trying. I'm going to inspect the area inside his uh, cobbler's workshop as well as out in front of it. We have one investigator. I'm going to do that too. Two investigators. I'll go in the, I'll go in the alley around back. I'll go with Allie, just so she's not by herself. Uh, everybody give me an investigation roll. 20 not natural. Nice. Uh, 15. Okay. 6. 14. Uh, excellent. Everybody but Dick B. Dragon has <laughs> found something. Uh, Welton, you had the best. You have found uh small gemstones that look like holy beads from the temple of Dalen. Uh, Hallie, what was, or Poe, what was your role? 15. Azar? Uh, 14. Uh, so Poe found the uh, what did you find? Oh, you found a drink token. <clears throat> More beer. <laughs> it, it, is, it is actually for beer, and it has the name Jeebus Tavern on it. 
So it's a token for Jeebus Tavern. Uh, Azar, you found a half-eaten bagel uh, that's wrapped in a scrap of paper with the F on it. Uh, it was behind the front table, so it looks like it is Pete's. Uh, the F comes from Fine Gold's Bakery. Fine Gold's when you need a good bagel in a city filled with puppy kicking murder hobos. You had to make the, the bagel bakery Jewish? Uh, why do you gotta go? Why do you gotta go? I clearly you know, the chosen bakery. <laughs> I mean, they're probably the better one in town. Uh, so, uh, Welton, you found the gemstones slash prayer beads. Poe, you found the drink token. And Azar, uh, you found half a bagel. Might still be good. It's a little on the warm side. Flaky crust. It's very nice. I'm going to eat the bagel. You're going to eat the bagel? I'm going to eat the bagel. Fair you enough. It, uh, give me a D20. Seven. The ant on it was delicious. <laughs> yes. You you thought that was a seed. It was not a seed. Uh, I'd like to present these prayer beads slash gemstone things I found for this temple. Should probably go investigate this. God, why are all the paladins in this town shitholes? <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, what would you like to do with your drink token? Is, hey! He's one of those drunks. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Come here! Poe has hit the mother alone. <laughs> She's got a free drink token. Look what uh, I found! Uh, you all come together. You all present it. You notice that Azar has one little ant crawling up. You got something there. I try to smack it off her face. Oh, what? <laughs> Boy, you're not going to do a roll for that? Uh, yeah, Poe is going to roll a d20. Poe, if it's a natural 20, you're knocking Azar out. <laughs> uh, and if it's a 1, Unarmed. you're going to hit either Dick B. Dragon or Welton. 12. Okay. Uh, Azar is kind of a heavy smack. <laughs> and sorry, she sorry, bugs. She didn't so much smack it off as she just Ugh, ground it into your cheek. <laughs> I indignantly wipe the ants off my cheek, but I decide to let it go because he's clearly very drunk. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so you have three clues uh, and missing boots. What would you like to do? Let's go to the temple first. I feel like we'll get the most information from there. I have a beer token. <laughs> do they do, they do their beers beard. to go? Oh, I'm sure they do. Everybody we can get can. you a beer to go and then go to the temple. The good news is okay. uh, the temple is over by the town square. Uh -huh. uh, the tavern is one block south of you. So yeah. each is one block away. So it's very close. Oh, all right. Okay. Localized crime. All right. Yeah. Uh, you can drink your beer on the way to the... the yeah, the... Fine Golds is farther yep. away. Let's do uh, that. My Tiefland friend is correct. Let's get some... Beer. So the temple of uh, Dalen. No tavern. Oh, the tavern first. Fair enough. Tavern. They're being nice. Jeebus, <laughs> Jeebus Tavern. With the drink token in hand, you and your associates arrive at Jeebus Tavern. Loud noises can be heard outside the squat establishment, but you can't seem to make it out. Uh, as you open the door, the answer is clear as a mug of ale smashes into the door frame, spewing ale all over you. It would appear there's a bar fight inside. Bar fight! Yes! Bar fight. Uh, um, I'd like to run in and use thunderclap. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Hey, real quick, before you use thunderclap, I'm going to go into my shell in front of him. I hope he launches me like a projectile. Yep. Okay. Yep. I will. I will take initiative rolls to see who, because uh, Poe and Azar are charging in. So uh, I don't. I didn't say I was charging in, did I? Uh, eh, you might not have, but I'm pretty sure Poe was. Oh yeah. <laughs> as soon as someone threw a mug of ale, I was like, someone did that to me, and I'm running an 18. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to get to the bar. I'm working my way through the crowd because I want to ask the bartender about uh, the token. So what, Azar, what was your role? Uh, 14. 
Uh, Welton? 20, not natural. Nice. Uh, Dick B. Dragon? 20, not natural. This is happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Dick B. Dragon tucks his limbs and his skull in, steps in front or rolls in front of Welton. Welton casts Thunder Wave, launching the shelled adventurer into <laughs> the crowd. Uh, very important roll here. How much damage are you going to do, Welton? Uh, Get ready for guards. For <laughs> Thunderclap? Yep. I think there's a DC that I need to roll. Constitution 13. I'm going to roll three times. One for the staff, one for party number one, one for party number two. Staff. That's a four. <laughs> oh. Who's going to serve us drinks? Group number one. Apparently it's going to be self-serve. Eight. <laughs> Group number two, or yes, group number two. Five. <laughs> so do you, do you want three separate D6s for the damage? No, yeah, just do one, and uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, five. Total? Five for... I guess, for each yeah. group? Yeah. Oh, you're going to get your ass kicked. Oh, no. Uh, I'd also like to use thaumaturgy to shout, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking the, the tortle projectile is working out here. Yeah, yeah. How, much, how much damage does the tortle projectile do? Oh, it's going to be double that. Yeah. So they're, you're going to do about 15 to everybody. Uh, you're also I, going hit, to I hit all three groups. Did I ricochet around the room? Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sweet. This is, <laughs> this is like a comedy right here. A pew, <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Uh, you knock the bar off its moorings, sending it upside down. Uh, then you ricochet into group one, slid across to group two. Uh, give me a constitution 12 uh, to see if your head's spinning. Cool. I have advantage when I'm in my shell. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you in your shell. 18. So you pop your head out, look around. Hmm, that's pretty good damage. Yeah, it worked uh, out. Unfortunately, the raucous crowd uh, is now mad at all of you. Azar charged in. Poe charged in. Azar and Poe, you reach the tipped over bar and notice that uh, two barmaids and the barkeeper are kind of pinned against the back wall and they are pissed. What would you two like to do? I try to shove it, shove the bar off of them. I don't I'll, know. I'll pull it off. Yeah, I, was like, okay. it. I wasn't sure if they were like smashed between the bar and the wall. Or... They are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's not helping. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Try <laughs> Give to pull me the <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. Helping you. <laughs> uh, Poe finally figures out. Geometry. Uh, Azar, I'm drunk. <laughs> Azar, what would you like to do? Uh, is is Poe succeeding in pulling the bar off of him? Give me a strength check, Poe. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Oh, that's not bad. Thirteen. She could use a little help. She's she's gotten it teetering. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna help her. You pull it back with her, freeing both barmaids and the innkeeper. Uh, they catch their breath, and Miles O'Feet, that's right, Miles O'Feet, the bartender. Miles O'Feet. Uh, thanks you? <laughs> <laughs> Although he's a little bit concerned. Uh, you two may now engage in conversation. Dick, you stand up and notice everybody else is standing up. Welton, uh, you're still standing in the doorway, outlining yourself nicely. Is the, the fight still going on? Uh, they're getting up. Okay. I'd assume they're looking at me. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Poe, do you have the token? Oh, oh. Yes, I do. It's right here. <laughs> it was uh, on fire hair. Leave me alone. <laughs> So uh, I, I want to show the bar people the token 
and ask if they they gave this out to anyone who seems suspicious. Look around. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Oh, That's good point. point. You, you are not in uh, the upper crust area of town here. Um, no. What the fuck we, was we I that out a Larry, lot. Larry, I don't know. Larry, Larry Flatfoot. Larry. Light fingers, Larry Flint. There, there we go. go. Somebody's hey. writing shit down. I wrote it down. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> I haven't seen light fingers in a while. Uh, Welton, the two largest individuals who presumably started this fight, walk up to you, point. <laughs> Down they go, still suffering no. from significant injuries. Uh, so much like Biff Tannen, they hit the deck and they are not going to be a problem. Uh, Azar can't help you with light fingers, Larry. Haven't seen him in a while. Uh, who wants the drink? Oh, me. D20. Six. Uh, there was a <laughs> fingernail in it. <laughs> are, there, are there any patrons still eyeballing me? Oh, no. The uh, two biggest brawlers had 11 hit points, so you guys have done significant damage. The uh, Their uh, followers are not going to be a problem and will probably be sleeping it off for a while. I'd like to waltz over to the bar and ask them what spirits they have. Uh, we have dwarven spirits. Uh, do you have any cash for the damage you've done? I'll give them 20 gold for the for the trouble. So you're down, what, 21? Why don't uh, why don't we all pitch in five instead? That feels more fair. Me and I put seven mm. down because I can't count when I'm drunk. Azar, you are no murder hobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want you to deceive them into giving them three and making them think Poe gave them extra, or Poe gave them five and I gave them five. Uh, do a deception. I'll do a perception. Eighteen and six. 23. Hmm. Um, they willingly accept the gratuity. Uh, what drink did you want, Welton? Uh, do you have any dwarven scotch? We do have dwarven scotch, but we think the licorice whip is going to be more attuned to your specialty. Mm. And what would my specialty be? Uh, it's made out of uh, kelp. Oh, I'll give it a shot. DC 12 versus Constitution at disadvantage. Fourteen. It is really good. It's got that boomerang effect like a Bahama Mama. Oh, this tastes good. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll throw them an extra gold pieces tip as uh thanks for the suggestion it's are good. you as shitty with your money as poe is when she's drunk no oh very good miser uh so with your first clue not a ski right three nothing well i guess let's check out the temple uh, Azar, I believe you're up for the D20. Before we leave, I do want to walk up to one of the little people that we just beat up like their main guys. I just want to drink their beer. Oh, nice. Just, like, pick it up and just start drinking it in front of them. Set it back. Well, that, that thunder wave will have done significant damage to the glassware. Well, so, if I can find anyone that survived. You can find half a glass with shards on it. Uh, yeah, roll budget. a D20, don't roll a one or you're cutting your lip. 19. Okay, piece of cake. You just. I, I got a 15. Ah, very good. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> you uh, leave the establishment and begin to head towards the temple. Uh, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> let's see who this happens to. Number two, uh, Poe Blackthorn, you're getting oh, felt up again. Uh, and it's the, uh, it's an individual who who puts his hands and he says, uh, 
I love the feel of your fabric, only it's a really inappropriate kind of touching. I just start <clears throat> slapping. Um, Get your daggum no. Can I douse him with one of those five things of flammable liquor and then cast burning hands? <laughs> I was just gonna break his fingers, but also going to set him on fire, so hey. So this guy's gonna be a torch no matter where we're going. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, well, good, 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 good. this guy is now dripping wet, and Kashan Kahan goes, what the hell is that? So, everybody initiative to see who gets to light this guy on fire or break his fingers. Seven. Fifteen. I got a fifteen. I got a one. <laughs> Uh, Poe and Welton, you guys can both light him up. I'm just going to produce flame and smack him with it. <clears throat> Welton? Uh, I'll use burning hands. Light him up. Uh, him. Roll a d20, one or a two, you're going to catch Poe Blackthorn at the same time because she's giving him the old touch back. That's a good <laughs> look. <laughs> Uh, natural one. Oh, natural one. Yeah. Oh, no. How much do you do to Kashan Khan? Uh, 11? Uh, I'm resistant, so. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kashan Khan goes up in flames. Uh, whistles are heard. No! <laughs> man, fuck uh, the police in this town. <laughs> there's a lot hold of on, calls, Hold on, man. hold on, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold on, just... Let, let the drunk person deal with it. <laughs> it's slowly burning off, because I literally just got caught on fire. <laughs> just wait, wait, just everybody except for Welton, just go and we'll meet you at the temple. I got this, hold on. All right, I'll pick up Azer, put her on my shoulder, and just start running. Go, 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 go. Okay, we go. Well, well are you going to go? surprised. No, no, I'm going to talk to the guards again. You're going to talk to what? The the five O. So Dick. I'm going to start crying hysterically. Azar's on top of Dick, and he's running down the road. Poe and Welton have decided to stick around and deal with... I don't know, Lieutenant Hunter. <laughs> the cops swarm in, throw Kashan Khan to the ground, and start to <laughs> kick out the flames. <laughs> this guy's alternate name is Pete Ophile. He's from Ireland. And we've been looking for this guy for a while. Well, how'd this happen? He just, he came running up to me and he said, I just need one last good feel before I go out. And then he touched my button and lights up on fire. <laughs> straight up D20 against me, Po. Just straight up D20. This is so stupid. 18. <laughs> I got 14. So the guard dumb. looks at you and goes, one last good feel? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't have touched me either. I don't know. The shade. I, I, I'd like what to talk shade to the guy. That's uh, all right. I'm used Walton, to it. Walton, what are you saying? I'd, I'd like to persuade the guards that Be less sorry, my, my compatriot is a little hysterical and a little inebriated, but this vile individual did a grope her, so to speak. Um, him, him. Him, him. Grope him. Poe po is a male. Oh. Sorry. Um, Fifteen. Or wait, sorry, sixteen. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> they they did say they've been looking for him for some time now. They haul him away with patchy clothing and even patchier uh, hair uh, as he still smokes. Uh, fortunately, the foot pounding they gave him was able to extinguish <laughs> all the flame. Uh, they drag off Pete O'File away. Uh, 
Dick and Azar, you have reached the temple. With a path of knockdown people on the way here. I kind of felt you'd do that. So <laughs> I just assumed. And once again, I'm trying my best to apologize. Uh, as, as you're slung over his shoulder and people are yelling, oh my god, he's kidnapping her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, the examination of small beads found at the bakery has led you to the Temple of Daylon. Uh, the stones are common ornaments on the Acolyte's prayer beads, and you believe that one of the thugs may have trained at the temple. After announcing your intentions to speak with a high priest, you are told to wait in the cloister for an audience. An old beggar comes up to you, dragging an injured foot behind him, and speaks with Dick B. Dragon and Azer. Do you have any alms for me? Yeah, I'll drop him two, uh, two gold. Azar? Uh, I refrain. Okay. Uh, Dick, you're keeping track of your money, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Poe po and Walton, or Welton, uh, you guys also arrive. Uh, you notice that uh, uh, DBD and Azer have gone inside. You can wait outside for them or go inside as well. I, I, I need to heal. That hurt. <laughs> well, now I'm just going to remind you to maybe that you're lucky you blew out a fire person. Keep that in mind for later. All right. I, I I'm a it. fire person. I don't know what it feels like. Yeah, all, right, all right now. All right. I'll just go in the door. <laughs> Sorry, it's not intentional. I know that. I know it. Just maybe think about your actions before you pull the trigger. That's all I'm saying. You did light him on fire yourself as well. I didn't blow fire at him. Uh, <laughs> yet. Well, he's drunk. Just light him <laughs> Uh, <laughs> DBD, Azer, uh, Welton, and Poe. A few moments go by, and you are greeted by Reverend Daughter Sister Elaine. For those of you who listen to the Bods podcast on SoundCloud, you'll recognize Sister Elaine. Uh, she arrives and will speak with the PCs, pointing out that the high priest is currently unavailable. How may she help you? This is a friendly uh, deity. We'll call oh. them neutral good. Well, uh, okay. we found these uh, prayer beads uh, on the scene of a crime. Don't know if maybe you recognize them or... Praise be to Daylon. I do recognize them. One of our acolytes was recently robbed at Dagger Point, and his prayer beads were taken. I believe these are his. Well, praise be to Daytona. Uh, <laughs> do you know which acolyte it was? <laughs> Yes, that was Brother Nerd. <laughs> uh, I'll just, I'll he just recently yell. came back from Daytona with his friends. I'll just yell out, Nerd! <laughs> he is not presently here, and we like to keep a lower tone. You as a paladin, I would think, would know that. You know, kind you'd certain. be amazed how little time I spent in the church. That's, I no, I would not be. I, I'm he's amazed not. that he's a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> my, my God, I think he would be smited, smited by now. Uh, <laughs> DC 12 perception, folks. So DC 12 versus wisdom. Point me, please. <clears throat> Nat 20. Nat 20. 12. What was yours, Poe? 15. Everybody passes. You notice that Sister Elaine is kind of. Looking beyond you, as you turn, uh, you notice that the high priest has arrived. DBD and Azar, you immediately recognize him as the beggar. Oh, well, praise be to demon. All right. <laughs> How may I assist you? Uh, I'm very embarrassed. I'm looking for acolyte nerd. Acolyte Nerd is currently unavailable. He is at computer camp. <laughs> what do they do at computer camp? Uh, I don't know, but I think the whole thing bites. Uh, 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 uh. Physical pain. This is <laughs> physical Shitty. fucking pain. <laughs> Shitty dad joke. Shitty dad joke. <laughs> I thought it meant. <laughs> uh, he is unavailable, however. 
Sister Elaine, give these individuals uh, five gold pieces. A DBD, uh, the high priest reaches over, puts his hand on your shoulder, and you feel the power of Daytona, Randy Daytona, <laughs> cursing through your body. You will get advantage on your next initiative roll. All right, but hey, next time, priest should ask before they touch a dick. Just saying. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> I say something about this being a Catholic temple offhand. It is not a Catholic temple. It I'm is the say. Church of Daytona or Demon or Dust Rider. There's a big white hat. Yep. I, I think this is Judge Dredd. I'm not sure what. <laughs> I know it started with a D. Uh, bad news, though. Uh, Brother Nerd is unavailable. So steer right to. Can I, before we leave, ask the sister if she might if in return for tithing to the temple if she might be able to lend me a little healing assistance how much some, do you need some crazy person lit me on fire how much do you need crazy paladin <laughs> <laughs> amazingly no uh the high priest gives her a nod she uh lays hands without asking oh. uh and she you will frank really what hand sign was that Oh, no! It was in front of me, <laughs> not over the <laughs> no, Don't do that again. You shitheads did this to me the last time. It's called ass wedging? <laughs> Lays hands on you. There that's you go. Right. Back asses. Uh, that, that's a... That's <laughs> we'll we'll that's, heal you up. <laughs> that is an old joke. <laughs> every, every goddamn game, you do that to me. Every goddamn game. Um, I can't even like, get my sword out. What's if that? it happens that often, I mean, oh my god! Ah, uh, so fine gold's bagelery. I, I would like to ask them if the Church of Daytona is affiliated with the um, House of Walken. <laughs> uh, no, it is the House of Fury. Mm. Your Father Fury. Does Father Walken reside in the House of Fury? Uh, you know, uh, he he's come, he stopped by. He stopped by a lot, but. Uh, He's off searching for something very important. Do you know what that is? Pocket watches. Cowbells. <laughs> he's searching for cowbells. I heard he's got a real nice pocket watch, cowbell. though. Because he needs more cowbell. You guys are two strikes down. All right. So what obviously, we have to blame it on the bakery. You're, you're coming uh, close to noon. Okay. We still have some time. Uh, let's head to the bakery. I can uh, eat. No, I'm hungry, so sure. Is there a uh, bar on the way to the bakery? Uh, actually, no, there is not going to be a bar. And it is Man. two blocks away, so DBD, give me a D20 po D20. 17. Uh, 18. This will be easy to figure out. Uh, 16. 17. 17, 18. 18. <laughs> Uh, DBD, as you lead the group of intrepid adventurers down the first block, there seems to be a loud crowd gathered around someone. Push Don't worry, guys. I know what to do. And I start getting into a running position. <laughs> no! I'd like to trip him to make sure he doesn't screw anything up. Uh, DBD, you going to make the run? Nah, I was getting in the position. Okay. Hadn't started yet. Uh, fair enough. Uh, the loud, there's a loud, large, circular crowd around everybody. I'll take the highest uh, perception roll, please. Fourteen. Thirteen. Uh, Twenty, not natural. Eighteen. Azar, you recognize the individual in the center of the crowd. It is a fan favorite, a huge hero in the city of Cathaway. He is known as the brick. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Does he how own a doing? house? Nope, but he is uh, popping his pecs. <laughs> how you doing? Hey, how you doing? He's apparently signing autographs. It's a limited time only. Uh, very high charisma because this guy's wearing a loincloth made out of gold coins. He is strapping a 12-pack. If you know what I mean, uh, the brick is in town, Mr. Hero. Yeah, brilliant white smile. The guy's got it all. Yeah, 
except for a shitty game show on right now. <laughs> the bricks are too old. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to just continue towards the end. Uh, yeah, I'm not the bagel house. Uh, DVD, your, your comment goes unscathed because of the uh, worship of the adoring fans. Uh, the next block, however, features another happy individual. An attractive woman, but not overly gorgeous, approaches you guys and begins to look up and down. Number four, Azar, you have attracted her attention. Uh, she is got a large following behind her, and she looks at you. Uh, attractive, but uh, could use a different hairstyle. Maybe a little bit better clothing, my dear, but, you know. There's somebody out there for you. As they walk by, what do you want to do? The followers are walking right behind her. Uh, I will smack her if you want. Can I Can I try to trip her? Sure, you can try and trip her. I'll just yell out, cunty, but could learn to shut the hell up. <laughs> I'd like to whisper in her here that no one loves you and you'll die alone. <laughs> It's a wonderful crowd here tonight at Murder Hobo Inc. She falls flat on her face, Azar, and one of them says, why did you trip Camille Kardashian? Probably because she hasn't done anything important in her life and you guys are following her for no She's fucking reason. She's done a lot of things that are important. I just cannot name any of them currently. Yeah, that's what I, I didn't ask for her shitty opinion, so. It was free, free of charge. I'd like so to ass kicking, but... I'd like to use thaumaturgy again to whisper into your ear. Your husband, Kanye North, is better than you. <laughs> and he's still pretty shitty. Guard whistles are heard. <laughs> Man, the fucking guards in the city fucking suck. We live in a police state. <laughs> uh, I'd like to use stealth to conceal myself amongst the No, movie. Dick. No. <laughs> You do not. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Uh, finally, you jackasses reach the bakery division because you can smell it. Uh, you've been here before. This place has great donuts, great bagels, great loaves of the bread. The ant was only okay. Yeah, the, the, the ant was okay. That was extra. A little bit extra for our anteater people. Uh, clearly, the baked goods is the key to solving uh, this mystery of who was involved in the robbery of the cobbler. Uh, you enter the business district and quickly discover that you are in a long line of people waiting at Fine Gold's Bakery. Uh, after a few minutes, the patrons have obtained their goods. And you walk in and Davi Fine Gold greets you warmly and asks, what his gnomish hands can construct for you today. I want to slam my hands on the counter and intimidate him, and I'm just going to yell, tell me what you know. <laughs> I'd like to ask him if he can make a an eye-shaped bagel, or an eye, a bagel that resembles a gnomish eye. Azar, what would you like to ask Davi? Uh, so I still have the wrapper from the bagel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if it'll help him, but I, I put it on the counter and I say, hey, uh, this cobbler was robbed and I found this at the, the scene of the crime. What can you tell me? Good plan, oh. Azar. You be good cop. I'll be bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one was preordained. Uh, plan, you oh, can what be would a you cop. like to ask? Damn. <laughs> oh, they went in. I'm standing in line for food. <laughs> You're standing alone. You guys were moving forward in line and you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> People are walking around you, weaving around. Uh, DBD. Well, in the beginning, there was darkness. And then there was a big bang and there was light. Then dinosaurs ruled the land. Rawr! Now he's just talking nonsense. I say we kill him until he starts making sense. <laughs> You asked him what he knew. Didn't um, you know the holy Daytona made this <laughs> land 6,000 years ago? Ah, uh, Daytona is a false <laughs> deity. Uh, Welton, what was your question to them? Welton? Oh, can they make a can they make a bagel that resembles a gnomish eye? Uh, it'll be just a couple minutes. Uh, as our awesome. Navi takes the wrapper and goes... Uh, why do you have this? 
I just told you, dude. It was at the scene of a crime we're investigating. We know you're involved. <laughs> uh, chill, chill out till I get my bagel at least. Okay? Uh, <laughs> do like the bad cop, like turn around, let him have his moment. <laughs> you storm out of the room. Go look at, go look for a phone book so that you can throw it at him. Uh, Azar, he, he points out that he goes, uh, I'm guessing Lawrence is responsible for this. You mean Larry Flint? Uh, some people call him light fingers, but yeah, he's the one that eats the anteater special. You guys have a very progressive menu. Just wanting you to know that. <laughs> Uh, we are open to all people in all walks of life. Here's your gnomish eye. Thank you. It You're looks welcome. delicious. Uh, DBD, you went outside and Poe Blackthorn is just completely lost. Uh, yes. She's going to have to get something in her to sober. I'll just kind of point her the right uh, direction. I'd like to hand Poe one of my remaining my... Uh, heavy spirits. You say drink oh, up. You're inside, they're outside. Poe, oh. for the third time this adventure, you've been manhandled. <laughs> I'm gonna start slapping a bitch if you don't all stop touching me. Azar, uh, apparently Davi has connected the dots and said that Larry Lightfoot Flint is the only one that usually gets the uh, Anteater special. So, what do you need to know? Why you keep it on his menu? Because Larry pays money. So you're in on it. Uh, I'm a businessman. Business is a business. Uh, we need, we, there's a, there's a very personal stake in this robbery for us. We need to know when, <laughs> let's ask him when Larry bought this bagel. Uh, when we opened this morning. Do you know where he went afterward? To work. Where does he work at? Out the back door, down the street. Uh, he works at the tailor shop. That's why they call him Lightfoot. Shouldn't he work at the cobbler then? Isn't it like yeah, was... fingers? <laughs> He's not that hungry. These people never say. No one knows what a normal cobbler is. <laughs> they don't know the kind you can eat. You know, they're more. Like everyone's walking around barefoot without shoes. He's got to be doing <laughs> shitty business. <laughs> Poor Pete lives uh, in a city of morons. Poe, you have you have followed the scent and the rough handling by Welton, and you are now inside. Hmm. Kula, who wants a something? Food. You want a beer and no part of a Noma Shai? No, I'm all right. Thank you, though. Azar, get... Davi yeah. turns to you and goes, <laughs> before your friend obviously vomits <laughs> all over my goods, what can I do for you? I want an entire cake. That's going to be an hour. Do we have an hour? We can no. come back. We nah, can, nah, you can come back. back. Let's get a cake for the road after we find the boot. Let's keep focused. Sell the tar uh, cake. Again, Azar, you're new to the Murder Hobo Inc. <laughs> <laughs> Focus is not a good word. <laughs> I don't know the definition. Don't get me wrong. I'm down for murder. Just after we get the boot. Fair enough. Uh, he's told you where Lightfingers Larry is at. Uh, he's yeah. told you that, yes, that is the Ant Eater special. Uh, he's working on DBD's cake, and Welton has his gnomish eye cake. Uh, Poe is just taking the basket of samples and <laughs> crumbing it down. Uh, well... I guess the only thing we can do from here, let's go check out the tailor. Yeah, sure, why not? Just Everybody for the record, what kind of dumbass eats a bagel during a robbery? <laughs> well, probably when you the... meet Larry, you'll... <laughs> I was going to say, probably the same kind of person who robs a cobbler and doesn't go after, you know, something a little more hot. Especially when nobody in this town knows what a cobbler is. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what about saying. three banjo strings away from being deliveranced. Uh, <laughs> you guys head on out into the alleyway, and it's Welton's turn to roll the d20. Oh, that's a one. Two. Two? <laughs> yes! 
There is a colorful individual with classy clothes, but they're stained with ale and food particles. He is singing a song. The bard begins his song. <coughs> All the nice girls love a candle. All the nice girls love a wick. For there is something about a candle which reminds them of a, and this guard comes out of nowhere, <laughs> him, and he's See, on the ground. This is what I'm saying. Police state. They're taking away our police. Sir Dragon, would you like to finish their, his, uh, his limerick? <laughs> He's not a bard. He doesn't know. Yeah. Oh, I think he knows what the next word was. <laughs> I think we all I can do. take a professional guess. That was Ganjo, the drunken bard. I'm <laughs> oh, really tired of this police state in this town. <laughs> <laughs> There's cops everywhere, They're man. Crushing free speech and driving around fucking people up. They couldn't even solve the puppy stealing. You will follow our orders. Uh, you finally make it to the tailor shop and a guy smoking on a pipe, uh, kind of a beanpole looking dude is sitting there watching the cops rough this uh, performer up. He looks at you and he looks at, uh, he looks at Poe and goes, what are you looking at? I was just trying to figure out if you needed a light for that thing. No. Fair enough. And I just light my hand on fire and start blowing smoke at him. <sighs> Can I th throw a thing of uh, flammable ale at his uh, pipe? <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, guys out just taking a smoke break. <laughs> we know <laughs> we've been at it. <laughs> I said no smoking. You're right, uh, DBD. This place is a police state. It is. Uh, go ahead, Walton. Uh, see if you can hit him. What is this against? AC 12. Dex. Versus what decks or? Oh, uh, you got to hit them with your uh, projectile, so you can use dex modifier. Uh, twenty, not natural. Oh yeah, you you splash the shit out of them. Everybody, oh, roll initiative. Jeez. Uh, Eleven. Sixteen. Twenty. Nat twenty. Uh nat twenty, then twenty, uh, then Larry Lightfingers. What would you like to do, DBD? Um, you have just seen him get splashed with flammable liquid. Shouldn't those surprise, fingers be lit up now? Surprise. Well, why not broken? You, you threw the liquid on him. He's not lit yet. I'll just pick up uh, Poe and chuck her at him. Poe, for the fourth time in this scenario. <laughs> Gross. I needed fire. I didn't I have any. Sizzling uh, a common thread. <laughs> DBD and Poe, D20 strength modifier. If okay. Poe wins, uh, you don't have a good angle and can't pick her up, pick him up. Nine. <laughs> you're, uh, you're flying. Yeah, 21. <laughs> uh, okay, now chuck her at light fingers. The dex. Yep. So, God damn it. Oh, Nineteen. Oh, very nice. Uh, Poe, you go plowing into Larry Light Fingers, Flint. Uh, congratulations, you're now getting groped by him. Yeah, great. Uh, Slide him on fire. I'm gonna say DC 14 versus Dex to see if I can glancing blow it and still maintain. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I go careening through the back door along with Poe crashing through the flimsy wooden receptacle. Uh, Azar, you have seen Welton throw flammable liquid on him. DBD, pick up and chuck Poe, and now it is your turn. Wait, These are I the skills you learn at the academy. Nope, because oh, I got shit thrown? through. Yeah, you got Damn thrown. It. Sorry. Oh, well, I... I still want to get information out of them. Could I maybe restrain Oh, yeah. Him you so know, now's a good out. time to ask questions. I <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I want to yeah. restrain him. Use so your charm. Fight back. You what? I, so he can't fight back. I want to restrain him. I mean, we haven't lit him on fire yet. <laughs> uh, you know, wait till she jumps on him. Oh, oh I'm going to on fire. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take uh, Poe, you cause four hit points of damage to light fingers. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Azar, try and, uh, Poe, what's your AC? 14. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, Azar, they are in a very narrow hallway. Uh, and from past experience, uh, from my own, I know what this is going to turn into really quickly. So go ahead and make your jump. Uh, if you miss, you're going to either undershoot or overshoot. If you hit, you're going to pile up on Poe. <laughs> Letting her, letting him get touched for the six. I will light everybody on fire. Uh, 13. Go for it. <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, odd. You go short. Even. You go long. Your roll. Uh, D twenty. Whatever. Odd and even. Even. Azar, dun 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 dun, dun and <laughs> overshoots and lands into the tailor's office. Everybody, roll initiative. Uh, five, fourteen, sixteen, fifteen. Uh, Poe, you are going to get the boot as Larry will try and kick you off of him. Isn't that what we've been trying to do this whole time? Get the uh, he fails. He gets you in the kidney, but his foot slips off. Now his legs are wrapped around you. Great. We do need more than one boot. We need a boot. Yeah. <laughs> True. I uh, mean, who, who well, it's up to you. Half credit. I had a, I had a 15. Po? I had a 14. Poe, what would you like to do? Hey, Azar, these boots, these <laughs> point where this like stuck around me. Are these it? Uh, not the boots. No. All right then. Then he's no good to us. Then I'm gonna just <laughs> I'll drive him in the neck. Apparently. Oh, whoa. Po, po we can still get information out of him. <laughs> oh, too late. Poe had advantage. I just want to uh, knock him out. Go ahead and uh, give him a hit. All right. On arms. Uh, that's a fourteen. That hits. So unarmed. You give him the old elbow drop. Yeah, I don't know what unarmed would be doing. One d four since you're using your elbow. Gotcha. It's House rules. House rules, boys and girls. <laughs> it's a four. Ooh, four damage. You give him a bloody nose. So so far, Poe's the only one who has done damage. Four by crashing into him, and four by elbowing him in the nose. Who had next highest initiative? I had fourteen. Go okay. ahead, DBD. Uh. Not a lot I can do here. Set him on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Any fire. Otherwise, I would. Um, I'll just run up and uh, I'm going to take his boots off of him and just go, it, it, just in case we need a backup. John and McLean, you're shooting the glass. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I got, really. Uh, I thought about just laying on top, but go seems back. excessive. Go ahead and attempt the first foot. If you fail, Poe's butt is getting squeezed. Right. Strength again. Here. Strength here. Oh, um, yeah, we'll go strong. <laughs> Poe, you're getting both hands. <laughs> um, Am I doing it right? <laughs> Welton and Azar, uh, who had the next highest roll? Not me. I had five. Still Azar, true. Azar, you're up. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Um, you hear Poe screaming, <laughs> not in pleasure. Hmm. It's just a mess right now. So is Okay, so there's just like, are we still in the narrow hallway? Oh, yeah. And they're in like a pile? Well, yeah, well, Poe, DBD, and Larry Lightfingers is... If we were in a club, it would be appropriate. <laughs> yeah, if you were in a mosh pit, great. Can I try to, like, pull the person who's on top of the pile off? Uh, odd, DBD, even Poe. Uh, even. Uh, so you're going to try and drag Poe out of DBD's butt grab. Go ahead and see if you hit him. Uh, do I use a modifier? I'll give you strength. Okay. Seven. Uh, no. You grab him, but DBD's really latched on. <laughs> <laughs> he is just 
giving it two well, thumbs up know. is what I'm guessing. I'm yelling in primordial. Ah! I can think. <laughs> well, we're up. Uh, also, Welton perception check since you are not in the pile. Also, Welton don't set us on fire. <laughs> yeah. uh, perception 16. Uh, okay, and I just now noticed your private message. Sure, I don't care if you want to do that. Uh, Too late now. Oh, no. Okay, sorry about oh. that. Uh, yeah, you got to shout out, hey, Frank, pay attention. Uh, there you go. Private message to you. Uh, okay. So what would you like to do? Uh. Oh, was that for the bakery shop? No, that was for the uh, Temple of Daytona. Oh, you're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I want to know. Then no, you would not have been able to do that. Those guys have wisdom modifiers. You can't cast burning hands on a temple. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Says who? Oh, <laughs> Says Father Beggar. Uh okay, you've seen the private message. Uh it is your initiative. I privately messaged you. <clears throat> You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to give me an attack roll with uh, Dex modifier. <coughs> Twenty, not natural. Very nice, Azar. Uh, you see, Welton uh, take another flaming bottle and chuck it right at you, but it goes sailing past you, and you hear it smash behind you. Welton, is that the only thing you're gonna do? Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I see the other thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> and that would be obvious. Uh, and I don't care if you do it. <laughs> Poe, I have a feeling. I don't. Folks, we're just going to text back and forth on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good, okay, good okay, that's fair. Uh, Azar, uh, you see Welton go, whoo -hoo, and he lights a flaming bottle of liqueur, whew, chucks it at your head, but misses. You hear it smash behind you, and you hear screaming. Everybody initiative. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Five again. Uh, 20 Nine. not net. Uh, 20 not natural. DVD Poe. Me, Welton, and Azar. Uh, uh, DBD, Poe, no idea about the flaming projectile. DBD, you're two knuckles into Poe, and Poe, you're not happy. <laughs> Me and Poe got the same initiative. Uh -huh. and I'll, let, I'll let you go first. <laughs> Let's. Go. Let my people go, <laughs> says Moses. <laughs> All two I'm, of them. I'm trying to pull these boots off. Hang on. Where are yeah, those, are boots. Those, are boots. <laughs> those are buttocks. Nobody said I was aware of that. No, Go you, in the buttocks. You I've ever heard. You wanted a handful, you got an ass. <laughs> so, I just, is Larry still basically on me? Under you. Well, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, son of a motherfucker. I'm just going to burn him. I'm going to burning hands. Ooh. <laughs> uh, At him, so I don't get right, right. right. behind me. So I'm Kill the primary information. You, you know yeah. what? You're in a textile business. I know. I don't see any problem with this. <laughs> no, oh, no. Fucking well, I don't either. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any problem. Go ahead and light him up, Poe. The deck save. Disadvantage because he's grappled. That is true. Does not matter. Double 15s uh, with plus two. 17. So, you light a curtain on fire instead. Still half damage, though. <laughs> That's so. fair. Uh, half damage also to DBD. Cool. Uh, so, three. Okay. Uh, DBD, you got three. I am up to 11. Uh, DBD, you are up. Uh, the building's on fire. Um, neat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'll just attempt to drag them both out. <laughs> hey, Poe, how strong is your butt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm still. That's where I'm pulling from. Because Larry has his legs wrapped around. You. Yeah. DBD is digging <laughs> in like it's it's a colonoscopy, or he hates you for some reason. Ooh, DBD, man. you're going to be dragging two bodies out. So give me a strength check. I see what the appeal of everybody touching you was. They're surprisingly <laughs> firm. Thank you. Now quit it. Eighteen. Oh, I'm sorry. Nineteen. Uh, you guys start to get drug out from uh, the burning cloth that is on now separating Azar from the rest of the group. Uh -huh. Azar, you hear a scream behind you, and there is a human torch holding a bolt of cloth who was going to whack you. Apparently, the proprietor of the tailor shop saw his employee getting attacked by ruffians, and he was going to help in the defense but Welton has cast fire on him, and he is a human torch setting the entire establishment ablaze. Don't worry, we can blame this uh, on Larry. I am, I am going to try, as Larry, to pop my feet out off of Poe and see if I can catch the door. Um, DC 15 sound okay? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Against X? Okay. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, DBD drags us both out. Uh, Azar and Welton, who had the better Anish? I had five. Welton, you had a one, didn't you? You stink tonight. <laughs> uh, Azar, uh, between you and the freedom outside is a burning curtain, courtesy of Poe. Behind you, the human torch is setting the whole place on fire. What would you like to do? Is there any possible way to escape this? Do you have a ring of three wishes? <laughs> <laughs> you are going to have to launch yourself. Wait, 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 wait. I have Ray of Frost. Can I use that to put a fire out? Do you want to put the fire out on the curtain or on the human torch behind you? Uh, which, you know, expedites my escape faster. The curtain. The curtain. Fair enough. Uh, you will extinguish the flame, filling the hallway with smoke. <laughs> uh, Getting better. You may now charge through the smoke. Uh, a one means you collide with the door frame. Two means you trip, uh, vaulting yourself into DBD. Anything else means you get through the smoke unscathed. Uh, I got a 10. I'm good. Fair enough. Welton, you are up. Uh, you see Azar jump through like the brick. <laughs> and uh, DBD is dragging Poe and Larry, I'm on fire, light fingers uh, out of the burning building. Welton, you're up. I don't know if you he can hear us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what, are you watching the game or something? Jesus. Everybody roll initiative. That's bullshit. Sorry, we're boring you. I'm just trying to act out that initiative one roll. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, look. Um, there's a weaver shop over there. I could use come a, back here. I could use a new coat. So... So Acer used Rare Frost to cool everything off, but everything's now covered in smoke. Uh, or, she didn't really cool off everything. Well, the human torch is still doing his thing. Michael Myers is inside setting <laughs> everything on fire. I mean, I don't know. I kind of just want to admire this scene, to be honest. That's fair. Uh, initiative, everybody. Nine. Nine. 16. 17. The human torch inside will have passed out due to significant fire damage. Uh, who had the high roll? 17. Oh. Go ahead, Poe. You okay. and Larry Lightfingers have been dragged out of the small hallway. So we're back in the alley. You are in the alley. Azar okay. has just vaulted over you. How does, how does Larry look? Well, Larry's pretty 
beat up. Fair enough. I'm going to just plop him down on the ground and say, I will light your ass on fire if you do not give me those goddamn boots. Uh, who had second initiative roll? Go ahead, Walton. Mm. I'm not really sure like I really have any. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> Man, this is. Larry's about to be lit on fire. <laughs> Again. A torch inside the tailor, who I imagine is probably competing with the cobbler in some stupid way, and that's why they stole the boots. I'll, I'll, I'll go up and help Poe with the investigation slash interrogation slash threatening. Okay. And don't forget the guards are in on it. Oh, they're in on everything. <laughs> uh, the paladins. DBD or Azar, who had the better role? We both tied with nine. Go ahead, then you both go at the same time. Azar, I'll let you go. Um, yeah, I, I just want to keep... Like, can I... Okay, yeah, I just want to get the information, so I'm helping Poe and Welton. DBD. Uh... They're holding him down, man. Now's your chance to kick him. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Cool. Fingers. Um, <laughs> Larry Light in the face. <laughs> we, 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 we've already established that these are not the boots we're looking for. No. Half, half of you have established that they are the wrong boots. The other half are still actively attempting to get them off. Yeah, uh, I'll just uh, realizing I don't have the boots. Go ahead and try to go for the boots again. Go ahead and give me a roll. Yay. Uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't his boot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still pulling. The good as news is it ain't Poe this time. I'm still pulling as hard as I can. Yeah, you are going wow. to be his favorite person. <laughs> no, just one oh, solid grip and no. one just gripped tug. <laughs> I'm uh, attempting to as move. much as you want. Poe's going to kick somebody, but he ain't going to kick you because he likes you now. Uh, I, I'm pulling to remove. I sure. just think it's... <laughs> you mean get off, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what there you mean. There you uh, go. Poe, he's going to try and kick you in the face. <sighs> 18 plus. Sure. Boom! You get soul to light foot. <laughs> Did you get a good look at that boot? Is it being kicked? Two hit points of damage. Uh, new round, everybody. Nat 20. One. Nat 20 as well. Three. You got two 20s and a three. 21. Uh, nat 20 DBD, right? It's me and Walton. Walton, was yours a Nat 20 as well? Yeah. You guys are up. Uh, Poe gets the phileo soul right to the nose. <laughs> Walton, do you want to go first? Do you have a plan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a plan? Murder hobos, do you have a plan? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> what, what's Aside a from plan? finding a bar. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll, I'll go. I, I'm tired of trying to pull these boots. I'm just going to cut off his foot. I'll, I'll get the, the boots foot. one way or another. I'll take the other foot. Are you guys cutting his feet off? Yeah. I'll just take out my long sword and just hack downwards towards his foot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you miss... <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no. I, I'm aware. <laughs> and it, it, it's not going to take a natural one. Uh, go ahead. 20 not net. Very nice. Uh, you get it above the boot. Mm, 11 to cut off the other foot. Uh, no, you miss. <laughs> uh, how much damage do you do, DBD? Oh, that's a good question. I'm wielding it two-handed. Uh, Welton, roll a d6. 11 damage. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Uh, well, what was your six? Two. 
fair enough. You don't hit anybody but the ground. Uh, congratulations, Dick. You've hit an artery. Uh, he's squirting blood all over the place. Uh, I know I almost lost initiative. Who's next? I was. Go ahead. Oh, shit. The arterial bleeding is spurting all over you like a fountain at a wedding. This he won't be kicking you again. My best day ever. All right, fine. And I'm... Are we killing this motherfucker? I just want the boots. <laughs> just want the fucking boots. I, boots. Do we want information or do we want him to I hate hey, information. All of you. I hate all of you officially. All of you are dead. Larry to me. Stumpy, fine. Oh my God, and I just cauterize his leg. That foot's God, real light now. That. I have fire. Larry passes out. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, right. Larry oh, passes man. out. Dick Azar tells you these are the wrong boots, dumbass. Come on, you man. Should have said that louder. I tried. Now, how, how foolish do you look? <laughs> Perception check, everyone. Four. That one. Twelve. Jesus Christ. We all suck. Welton. At twenty. Thank God. Uh, hey, Welton. Any guesses as to what you hear? Uh. Oh, the paddy wagon <laughs> the fuzz <laughs> is coming <laughs> if we oh. run he can't follow us he's only got one foot <laughs> that's fine i hate all of you i'm gone can, can dick carry him with us dick can carry a lot of things dick you gonna carry him with one leg he's gonna weigh a lot less i promise you <laughs> i'd rather just take the one leg but <laughs> Yeah, I'll throw him over my shoulders. I need info out of him if he's still breathing. Do okay, you so need I, I peel off after Poe. I'm, uh, I'm going. You can go northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest. Uh, Which way is the cobblers? Uh, the cobblers is southeast. Let's head that way. We'll just bring this way. guy to him. Which way are the uh, whistles coming from? There you go. Oh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's a good question. Roll a D12, Welton. Mm -hmm. 11. 6. Everywhere. <laughs> the whistles are coming from everywhere. I'd like uh, to hide. <laughs> the, 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 the place is swarming with cops. They're all <laughs> yelling for a fire brigade. Welton, uh, tell them Lightfoot had a bomb. I pulled them out of the wreckage. They don't give a shit what you guys are doing. They're attempting to form a bucket brigade to go ahead and quench the fire that the tailor shop is now becoming, along with all of the other attached businesses. Oops. Guards don't give a shit about you right no. now. Okay, the cobblers. No. Okay. Yeah, so let's keep running. So we're going to the cobblers. Yeah. Southeast. I am uh, not. You are not? Nope. Okay. You're going to help with the bucket brigade? Nope. You're just going <laughs> to stand there and be Larry. Nope. I'm going back to the tavern and getting stone faced drunk. There we go. <laughs> uh, you can roll a d20. Who rolled the last d20 for you guys? Welton. Uh, Azar, you also roll a d20. Poe. 11. 13. 11 and 13. <laughs> oh boy, that is perfect. Um, oh man. Poe, as you take off, <laughs> oh as you take off for the tavern, you notice one of the guards who is often referred to as A-Hole Andy. And he <laughs> stops you in the alley and wants to know what the hell you're doing. I am still slightly drunk and Fuck may not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hear DVD's voice in the back of the <laughs> Sending the message. 
Fuck the police. Thank you, Ed Helms, for that. That is a clever thing. Just, I just, I just pat my gold. I'm like, and I need another drink. Then I'm lost. Persuade me. Oh, shit. Not good at this. Show them your ass. Everyone seems to like you. <laughs> just get the hell out of here. I'm gone. Just hey, you need a drinking buddy? Because I'm real good. Uh, DBD, Welton, and Azar, as you round the corner, you all notice that there is a dark-haired individual seemingly following you as you proceed towards the bakery. It is a female, and she seems to mimic your movements. We don't need this boot anymore, right? No. I'm going to no, chuck right, the leg baby. back at her. <laughs> Uh, try and hit her at disadvantage. Dex, I imagine. Yep. Eh. It's like nine. <laughs> yeah, you miss uh, the female who deftly dodges to one side. She I think the message was clear, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, but she's still following you. She gives out a slight eek. Uh, Can I cast poison spray? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Constitution 13. Fucking murder hobos. Ah, uh, 16. Natural. Uh, hmm? uh, she definitely dodges it. Uh, she doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's not like she's call calling for the guards or anything. She's just hovering for you. Uh, Good for Poe, her. Poe, give me another D20. As you guys run to the bakery, I'll take another D20 uh, this time from Dick. That is a two. That one. Oh, shit. Yay. Wow. You guys suck. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh. Good news, Poe. As you're hauling ass to the tavern, you pass by somebody else hauling ass that you recognize, followed by more guardsmen. Ganjo, the drunken bard, has escaped. And he's running the other way. And he runs by you and goes, Do you want to hear a song? <laughs> DBD, Weldon, and Azar, you are stopped by a tall woman. Uh, Dick, uh, <laughs> this is a tall brunette woman who's kind of gangling, goes, Hey, what are you up to? Yeah, killing people. You? Uh, just looking for a good time. Oh, we got plenty of that. If there's anything big Dick Dragon or Dick B Dragon knows, <laughs> it's a good time. Doesn't know his name, but he knows a good time. <laughs> oh, wow. Right into the... It's a, it's a, it's a nickname. Uh, this they is call me, uh, the big Dick. Flirt, and she's going to hang on to you guys for a while. Yeah, I'm cool um, with that. Also, the other one is still tracking you for some reason. Uh, you arrive at the bakery and find yet another line at Fine Gold's. Uh, Poe, I assume you were going to the same tavern? Yes. Dude! Dude! Excellent to see you. We got out of jail. <laughs> and the cops in this town question. suck. Keep the puppy. Cops are my dad, man. <laughs> Bill S. Preston, Esquire. Guess who the guard captain is, bitch? William Preston Sr. Mm. <laughs> so Bill and Ted are going to hang out with Poe and drink, and they still have the damn dog. Yeah. Uh, Azar, Dick, and Welton, you arrive at Fine Gold's. There are literally whistles all over the goddamn city. What would you like to do? Uh, how's Larry doing? uh larry has regained consciousness sounds like it's time for a nice little interrogation larry you want Hi, a bagel I'm with Welton. <laughs> <laughs> i would like a bagel i am very hungry I'd i'll like get you a bagel are, are you i need the cop now? special I mean, yeah i thought you were being bad cop i mean i just thought he could use a bagel that's all i mean a lot of people could use sure. a bagel after that i cut off his foot the least i can do is buy him a bagel <laughs> <laughs> yeah did anyone cauterize that wound or is he still just like oh, yeah yeah did. Yeah, yeah, That's why he's still alive. Otherwise, he'd be dead. Poe, uh, D12 against me. Uh, eight. 
okay, you're fine. Uh, you're drinking. Uh, DBD's getting the anteater special. Welton and Azar. Uh, the very pale and blanched face of Larry indicates to you that he is not doing well at all. I'll lay on hands and give him five HP. You're too busy getting the anteater. You're, you're getting it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Welton and Azar. I'd like to persuade him to tell me about what what he was doing at the cobbler earlier. You know, maybe something to do with some boots. Wilton licks his finger and then shoves it into the cauterized wound area to persuade Larry to go ahead and explain what was going on. Wouldn't uh, it be intimidation? Mm, I don't know. I, I can think of no easier way of intimidating him than sticking your finger into the open wound. Uh, I was with two guys and we were trying to pull a caper. One is... Uh, my Please apologies. be someone we've ignited earlier in the night. <laughs> no, it is not. I can't remember the other one because I am too hurt. The other one who actually has the boots is Hector Lady Leg Surin. And then he passes out again. Uh, now he's useless, to, right? I'll just drop him. Is there, is there like a river that runs through the town by chance? There is a river that runs dead center through town. What do you say we dump him in the river and go find Hector? Yeah, I'm with that. Cops yeah. Kind of They'll never yeah. find him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like out into the bay. Fuck it. He's gone. <laughs> I'd, I'd say we'd give him a pair of cement shoes, but, you know, only one oh, leg. Oh, crap. Now I found the name of the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a little late. Uh, he wakes up and goes, Archibald Meat Pants. <laughs> And then passes out again. All right, let's take him to the river and go find Hector. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. Can we pick up Poe on the way? <laughs> I mean, I guess. You might have to physically pick Poe up, by the way. Yeah, it's he's, doable. He's drinking. I mean, sure. Uh, Poe, how many drinks are you having? Roll D20 for each of them. Yeah. You're due to puke. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Jesus, how many are you having? <laughs> Four more. The lowest I rolled was a seven. You're going to roll everything at disadvantage from yeah. now on because that's 14 beers in uh, six hours. Uh, Azar, the sun is starting to dip down low. You and uh, DBD and Welton are going to have to come up with a suitable plan as you walk through the middle of town holding a one-legged man with a cauterized leg injury. Oh God! Yeah, I just that, bell, that bell you heard is guard whistling. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we How should many dump guards. Does the city have too many to police state? <laughs> They're so bad at their jobs. For how many there are? <laughs> Apparently, apparently, there are not enough guards to keep a lid on this place. See, that's what the man wants. Quality over quantity. Uh, DBD is last. Poe is in the tavern. So, Welton, it's up to you to give me a D20. Seven. I saw that get so close to a one. As you guys... Mm -hmm. uh, charge down the street holding one legged light foot or light fingers, Larry. A dude steps out, blocking your path, wearing a long coat, and goes, Want to buy a magic item? No, thanks. Oh, no. I'm listening. How about a wand? <laughs> I, I like uh, wands. What you got? I, I'd like to use thaumaturgy to shout, No, thanks. <laughs> Ignore him. Uh, he's not doing business right now. I've got a fine selection. I even have an artifact. I have a mostly dead body. I have the leg of Vecna. <laughs> Trade you this guy for the leg. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tell God. me more about Vecna first. No! You guys know who Vecna is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's an old school thing. Uh -huh. And an eye and a uh, leg. 
DBD, you've accepted the leg of Vecna. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. yes. He's officially our overlord. <laughs> oh, uh, it kicks you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and you take six hit points of damage. <laughs> the damn thing is animated and it's trying to kick the shit out of you. Okay, first off, I'm going to lay on hands on me because I'm almost dead. Now, now you've released the grip on the leg and now it's goose stepping and trying to kick you, Welton, and or Azar. What if we use it to kick I... the guy you just traded the body? Scumbag Steve has left the building with the... I actually... What, what's Scumbag Steve's uh, strength modifier? Uh, <laughs> uh, 16, so plus three. Mm. Can I kick it back? So you are going to get a kicking contest with the leg of Vecna. I am. Sure, I'm go to ahead. Tie it to my back. Uh, well, you dropped it to try and regain it. Uh, go ahead and try and uh, kick me, Azar. I get an eleven. I got an eighteen. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, yeah, the leg of Vecna. What ha? What ha? It gives you three hit points of damage. A crowd is now gathering as you're getting beaten by the one-legged man at an ass-kicking contest. Poe, an interesting individual has walked into the tavern. Give me a d20. Okay. 17. Brick has returned <laughs> along with his crowd. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Uh-huh. <laughs> is, that, yeah. is that whole Rick? Do, oh. Is that all Brick does? Yeah, he's a hero, man. Couldn't hey. he like go out on a quest? Hot shot, drinking contest now. Mm. Oh, geez. you know you're 14 into it, and he's zero <laughs> into it, right? Yep. <laughs> you be a lightweight. <laughs> Not saying judgment is good right now. Uh, roll me a d6 first okay. to see how many uh, drinks you're going to be able to withstand before you're face down. Two? Oh my <laughs> god. Okay. Uh, the brick says bring it on. <laughs> e20. Okay. Eight. Oh. Nat 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was your roll? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Another beverage, and you better make it a good one because you're uh, passing okay. out after this one. Uh, yeah. Fifteen. Uh, can you see uh, that? Eighteen. 18. Yeah. He downs it, throws it over, and you go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Poe's adventure has ended. Uh, Welton, DBD, and Azar, you have a disembodied leg kicking the shit out of you. Everybody roll initiative. Ah. At 20. 14. 12. Uh, Azar, did you beat me as well? Uh, no, I have eight. Okay. Uh, Azar, roll a d20 for me as the crowd begins to take bets on whether you're going to win or lose. DBD and Welton, hit me. I got nine. Nine? I want to try to uh, just kind of land on top of it. I kind of want to like just land on top of it and go into my shell. Try to hold it down. You're going to tackle it with your crotch. Awesome idea. Uh, I think so. Good news, Azar. Uh, you spot creepy, touchy Kassan Kahan coming no. back. This God, the cops suck in this town. Uh, DBD, tackle me. Strength, athletics. Mm -hmm. Athletics is fine. Ooh. We're talking uh, 21. Nice. You tackle the leg. I'm sorry, 22. You tackle the leg. Uh, let's do a grapple check. Strength. Yeah. Because I went into my shell, I have advantage. Oh, All right. right, that's that's for well, safe. No, you can't, just for safe. can't go into your shell and still hang on to it. Okay, we'll just do regularly then. Nine. Uh, 14. 
Uh, well, <laughs> you notice that DBD has grasped the leg firmly. The cursed magic item seems to be well in tow. You can give him a good old drop kick, hoping that you miss and kick Dick in the face. Just tie it around me. I want this extra leg appendage. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Mm. You know what? I've got one thing of uh, flammable spirits left. We'll throw it on there and then uh, throw a Smells torch on it. Smells like turtle soup. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. Oh, Go man. ahead. Yeah, the leg is AC 13. Uh, will a 16 hit? Or, yeah, 16. 16 splashes both DBD and the leg in flammable spirits. Uh, what do I need to do? Throw a torch at it? Yep. Throw a torch using dexterity modifier. Mm, 12. Azar, DC 12 to miss the overthrow of the flaming torch. Otherwise, you catch it in the face. I uh, got 12. <laughs> Barely dodges <laughs> as the torch <laughs> goes in and hits Kassan Khan. <laughs> and it, <laughs> he's been caught on fire twice. Oh my now. God. Uh, the leg will attempt to <laughs> grapple out of it. DBD, give me a roll. Isn't Kassan Kahan a serial molester? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what do you do? One? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably uh, it. DBD, take two hit points in the crotch, and the leg begins to hop through the crowd. <laughs> nah, fuck the leg. I'm over it. Uh, go ahead, DBD. Give me another D20 roll. Probably the last of the night. Eight. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, in the crowd, you see a large Russian-looking dude running around, whacking people with an oak branch and leaves. Uh, he's apparently insane because he keeps yelling out, the deity compels you, the deity compels you, the deity compels you. <laughs> And the guards, of course, are present and tackle him because the guards are everywhere tonight. Uh, I'll just look at him and say, all hail Daytona. <laughs> how, how much, bad how much of the city is guards? I feel like it's going to be... <laughs> the population, <laughs> citizens and guards, has got to be way off. Oh, you know God. what? Let's go ahead and think of this logically. How much trouble have you fuckers caused? <laughs> How much trouble have you <laughs> down the oh tailor industry? Uh, you bitched about the bug infested bagel. Uh, you think the demon uh -huh. is a Nazi who tried to burning hands the temple. You've kicked puppies <laughs> or had puppies kicked. Uh, oh, Kassan Kahan's been set on fire twice. Well, I'm you know, maybe if they can hold him in the jail for more than like an hour. <laughs> you know what? He wouldn't get set on fire again. I think that's bogus, dude. <laughs> I, I, I think William S. Preston Sr., also an Esquire, would disagree. You know, if the cops were uh, yeah. less busy beating on minorities and taking, uh, <laughs> taking bribes, maybe Says they'd get the man who better. picked up Vecna's leg. <laughs> Is Vecna's leg a minority? I was trying to help it. No, but yeah, that was the worst point. trade deal in the history of Cathaway. Probably. <laughs> I must, uh, since we're at 10 o'clock, I must say, Azar, you got a couple more weeks of training. <laughs> <laughs> Thou hath failed. <laughs> I mean, wait, hold on. in Azar's defense, though, we did stop a lot of crime in the city, more than the guards have. We also caused a lot of crime. Uh, that's <laughs> Thank you, Azar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just take night classes. It's no big deal. Uh, Poe, give me two d20s. Oh, that's shit. how much gold you get nicked while you okay. pass out. Seven, three. Uh, seven and three. Yep. Uh, the brick has added 10 more gold pieces, so he should now be safe during. I just wake up and box. drop to my knees and go, brick. <laughs> 
might want to rethink that. Maybe that's why you're getting grabbed. So much. <laughs> uh, DBD and Welton, you have unleashed Vecna's leg on the public with Azar sitting in class for another few weeks, being obviously unable to even handle the most mediocre of tasks, i.e. get me my fucking boots. Hey, but we've well, already her boots are actually where they should be. It wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I, there's a lot of crime in Cathaway. Uh, folks, uh, I'm going to go join Frito Bandito because Cathaway <laughs> Frito Bandito and fix the hole in his ceiling from where you <laughs> dropped somebody through it. I'm going to keep trying to fix our police state. <laughs> you're going to need you're going to need a lot more adventures for that. D- DVD is going to disappear strangely. <laughs> <laughs> I never let's, be let's heard take down of the it. government. Uh, folks, thanks for watching us. Unfortunately, our murder hobos didn't quite finish the job tonight although i think they they had a lot of fun we're gonna go in reverse order uh azar give us final thoughts uh i had a great time thank you so much for having me uh follow my twitter at lawful sleepy there you go welton final thoughts what's a twitter <laughs> <laughs> i have one i don't have one uh man poor Poe's ass <laughs> that's the real victim here Let's that's be really <laughs> this is the injustice that the guards couldn't prevent uh, I, I think you're bleeding into dvd's comments uh, <laughs> po, final thoughts um hey that was fun um it was though it was chaos i love chaos uh just a shout out to Frank and everybody at Murder Hobo, um, they're going to be helping us out with a charity game, charity stream, actually, several games, hopefully, in March. Gwen's going to be joining us, hopefully, for some part of that. Um, I snagged a couple other Murder Hobos for it as well. Um, we're, it's all to support the Trevor Project, so if you can just follow at Terrible underscore Party, and we'll be posting details soon. DBD. Fuck the police. Fuck, Fuck the police. police. <laughs> That's my whole thought. <laughs> Final thoughts. Fuck the police. <laughs> uh, DBZ ain't nothing can... to fuck with. That's that's about it. Uh, all I can see is Ed Helms whipping that shirt over his head. <laughs> uh, folks, thanks for watching. We hope you had a good time, it, it, at least as much as these guys did. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Check out our YouTube archive. If you want a seat at the table like Gwen here, because, you know, I don't know. You're crazy. Uh, so we'll try and get you worked in there. Uh, if you have any questions for us, some of us have our Twitters up. That's uh, social media. Welton. That's uh, that's how people communicate. Now. What? What? Uh, you've offended me. You've offended me. Uh, hit us up. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, leave comments. Just don't be a douche about it. Uh, or shove them up your ass. Yeah, <laughs> folks. Uh, producer, let's go ahead. Just burn this mess to the ground. And <laughs> <it be after. laughs>